No, I think it's this one. What I think is going on is that it doesn't know that my new SSD is supposed to boot from there. So I gotta tell it to. Since I have so many other drives connected, I have about four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Windows 8. Window 8 CD, I'm gonna boot from there. There we go. I'm going to tell it what drive is, uh, has a main boot. I decided to use Aquinas True Image Trial to see if I can clone my drive better than the uh, Ease Use. I downloaded it, let's see if it will run. Okay, so it's installing. Okay, let's start the application. Actually, you know what you can do? You can just click on the Start Trial button. There. Tools. Clone Disk. Hey. No. Unavailable in trial mode. So I'm trying another cloning software called Macrium Reflect Free. I downloaded it, free version. Now I'm gonna start it up. Yes. So let me go to on this is yes. So we want to take this and this, dragging and dropping it. Thing. Well, it looks like uh, I finished copying things over. It looks like I built the system reserve and the main drives. Let's see. Hey, we got F drive A drive. Well, I put I swapped out the hard drive with my SSD I think you've seen me do a couple of times before so now I'm going to try an on it let's see what happens, hopefully it doesn't go into the boot screen it just boots up into Windows 8 oh. wow look at that That was fast, boot. Whoa, that was fast. And look at this. It booted up into Windows pretty quickly. This is hope everything works fine. Eh, yeah, doesn't have any of my stuff here. And there it goes. Just coming up. So it looks like that worked. It looks like Reflect did a better job than 
ease you as to. So what you basically, how you basically use Reflect is you download it, you click on the drive you want to copy, and you click on a clone disk, and you just click on sort of uh, destination, and drag and drop from above to below, to, to, to partitions, and hit next, and then do this thing, once you stop cloning, close it out, shut down the system, Swap out the hard drive with the SSD and start it, and it works pretty cool. Huh. It named it A for some reason. I wonder why I did that. Got the control panel. Control panel. Administration tools. Computer management. This management. Where's my. Okay, so I removed it. Yeah, I got a C drive right now, 222 gigs. A drive is not there anymore. I think you need to, the system reserve, I think you need to remove the label on it because if you don't, it may act funky. Let's restart the system and see what happens. Shut down. Start it up. Most active. So that took about five to six hours to do. I guess Easy US is not going to work for my setup because it's not copying over my boot sector. And it looks like my Korean software did the job where it copied the boot sector and the drive.